Welcome to Ruby on Rails uh, webinar series from jpassion.com. Today's topic is active record associations. Uh, so we covered active record basics two weeks ago and uh, this is a continuation of active record. So let's start with a presentation. So we will cover what an association is and we'll see auto-generated methods when you're using association macros and uh, we are going to see how you can implement associations and we'll talk about the concept of cardinality one-to-one, one-to-many and many-to-many -many. and then we'll talk about uh, how uh, association and uh, the uh, work with in terms of saving objects. Okay, so what is and why Rails associations? So association is available in pretty much all uh, web application frameworks, of course, including Rails. It represents relationship between uh, tables. And uh, these relationships, these relationship in tables are uh, typically through foreign keys or join table and object level. Then you're going to have uh, these relationship between these tables in the form of association. So uh, expression like um, a customer has many orders that has one to many relationship or an order belongs to a customer. So that is the uh, reverse direction. So the relationship or association, I'm using these two terms in the change interchangeably, by the way. So there are three different types of associations or relationships. One to many uh, example is a person has a single primary address and one to many a school has many students and many to many a course has many students and each student take many courses. So how does an association, how does uh, Rails, uh, in Rails, you're going to specify or uh, specify an association. Basically, you're going to use uh, class methods of active record. Uh, so here, uh, belongs to, so what it means is that project, object belongs to portfolio, uh, the uh, object and project has one, has one, and has many and has and belongs to many. So these are class methods of active record uh, base class and uh, these are macros we call. By using these macros you are basically specifying association. So here you are specifying an association between project and portfolio and project and project manager and project and milestones. So in this case a project has many milestones and here, this is the many-to-many, -many, and we're going to actually learn how to use these macros in detail in the following presentation. So here, a project has many categories, and a category can have many projects, because this is many-to-many -many, uh, relationship. So why you want to use a Rails associations? Uh, not using Rails association result in cumbersome code. For example, if you want to add a new order to an existing customer, then you're going to create an order object, and then you have to specify uh, customer ID uh, as a foreign key field. And uh, when you delete a customer with his or her orders, then you have to make sure all the orders of the, her, the customer gets also deleted. So here you have to get orders from the customer ID and then you have to go through this loop of uh, deleting uh, all the orders of that customer and then you're going to actually delete your customer. So uh, there is some uh, cumbersome work involved. Sorry about that. So basically, these red uh, colored code is extra code that you have to write. Now, by using Rails association, so here you are going to declare association between customer and order. So here, a customer has many orders, and the dependent, uh, the option is basically when you delete or destroy a customer, you also want to destroy all the dependent uh, orders, all the orders of that customer. And in this case, order also belongs to customer. So by having these two macros in each of these customer and order models, you are basically specifying really one to many relationship between these two. So in order to add a new order, all you have to do is basically customer object, and then you can use uh, orders. Uh, and then you're going to call create, create, and basically you are creating order object. You are just actually uh, the, uh, the, uh, the through the customer object. 
And in order to delete a customer and his or her orders, all you have to do is customer and destroy. So quite simple, uh, simpler than the uh, previous code that we have seen. Auto-generated method. Uh, so basically, you have seen an example of this auto-generated method. So once you have this has many uh, relationship between customer and orders, and then you can use these orders, uh, auto-generated method. This is actually auto-generated method from this relationship. Okay. So auto-generated method for each macro. So it depends on the uh, the uh, which macro you use. Different types of uh, the uh, method will be automatically generated. So as a number of methods to the active record class, and these added methods are specialized according to the collection or association model. Uh, and these added methods is a traversal and manip manipulation of these relationships. Again, we have seen an example of being able to just use these orders, auto-generated method from a custom object, because we have already uh, specified the relationship between customer and order. So this is belongs to macro. So in this case, order belongs to a customer, uh, which means order has a single customer. And then these are the examples of auto-generated methods. So you can actually have order object and then dot customer, then it will give customer of that order. And here you can assign a customer to uh, uh, the uh, customer field of order. And uh, you can check whether particular order object customer is set or not. This is has one macro and uh, has one macro is pretty similar to uh, belongs to except uh, it uh, the belongs to this is the one that actually specifies where a foreign key is located. So here order uh, table in this case orders order the table should have a foreign key to the customer and this is basically the other direction. So in this case, again, project object dot project manager and project uh, object project manager, you can assign the project manager and you can actually check whether the project manager field of a project object has been set or not. This is has many macros. So here you can check whether uh, project object milestones. Uh, so in, in this example, we have a project has many milestones. So you can check whether milestones uh, is empty, the size, and then here you can actually have a collection of the milestones and you can add a single milestone object to that the collection of milestones and you can delete, find, you can perform find and create is basically uh, saving it and build is not saving it, it's actually just uh, having it into the collection but it's not being saved into the database table but create does. Uh, has and belongs to many, so this is for uh, many to many relationships. So in this case, project has many categories and categories could have many projects. So here you can actually use pretty much the same set of auto-generated method like empty size categories and you can assign new category object into the categories and you can delete. All right, so how do you implement Rails associations? So we have already seen examples of setting up association or relationship between models using these uh, association macros, uh, belongs to or has one, uh, has many, and things like that. Now, one thing that you have to do in addition to specifying association macros into the models is you have to be responsible for creating a foreign key column uh, or join table, uh, and typically you're going to actually create this join column or uh, the foreign key column or join table through migration. So this is something that you still have to do. Okay, so setting up uh, association between models does not automatically generate uh, the correct table. So you are still responsible for making sure uh, the table has a foreign key column, or if you are doing a many-to-many -many relationship, you have to create the join table. So we'll see examples of that using hands on lab. All right, so let's do our first exercise. Actually, we'll do two exercises. And these two exercises, uh, you know, we are going to actually do, in these two exercises, we are going to build a very simple one-to-many relationship uh, application. Uh, the first exercise, we are going to just build association between models. And not, you're not, we are not going to actually have any 
uh, UI. So we're going to just use the Rails console to play around it. And second exercise, we are going to build the same application using scaffolding so that we have some UI in which through which we can add some of uh, the records. Okay, so let's go to exercise one. So we're going to create the, we're going to actually, you know, the, uh, follow this step by step. So we are going to create uh, association app. And uh, then once it's created, then we are going to go to association app directory. And then we are going to create a model, a uh, customer. So we're going to have a customer and order models. And uh, in this case, we are going to have a one-to-many relationship between customer and order. Okay, so we're going to go to And we are going to generate customer uh, model by using uh, the generator. So this customer has a single uh, field called the name is a string type and then we are going to create an uh, order model as well and this order model has just again one single field called the order date which is a date and time date time uh, the uh, type Okay, and then we are going to create order model. And then we are going to create customers and orders table through migration uh, because we have generated models. And you can see we have uh, generated uh, migration files. Basically, these two migrations are used to create tables. Okay. So here we are going to actually create a database first, and then we're going to perform migrate. Okay, so rake db create. Actually, when you perform db migrate, the first time it will create a database. So this is actually optional step. Okay. And then, uh, from 1.4, we are actually doing real work. Here, we are going to set up one-to-many association between customer and order models by having belongs to macro to the order. So here, basically, order belongs to customer. All right, so we are going to now break db migrate. And then, for customer, it has has many macros to order. So a customer has many orders, and we also specify dependent destroy uh, the option, which means whenever a customer object, uh, whenever a customer is deleted or destroyed, uh, the uh, all the orders of the customer also gets uh, destroyed. Okay, so we are going to change the code. So 1.4 and 1.5, those are the two major tasks that you have performed, as I mentioned in the presentation. So here, as I said before, you have to do two things, set up association between models using association macros, and then you are going to create a foreign key column uh, through a migration into the tables. Okay. All right, so we are going to, let me just delete this guy. And here we are going to uh, change uh, the order. And uh, we are going to say belongs to customer. OK. And uh, then we are going to change uh, customer model so that it has as many macros. Customer. And uh, we're going to have has many orders and a dependent 
destroy. Okay. All right. And uh, we'll save them all. Okay. And then, so we specify the relationships between these two models using macros. And then we are going to add a foreign key column to the orders table because uh, the one the model that has the uh, belongs to, in this case, order, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the table of it should be the one that contains a foreign key column. So what we are going to do is we are going to generate a migration file. So we're going to say rails generate migration. And then we're going to name that migration as asked customer reference to orders. Okay, so I'm going to just copy this one. And then we are going to uh, modify uh, the migration file. Uh, so we are going to use add column to the orders table. And the uh, name of the column is customer ID and type of it is integer. Okay. So those are two main things that you have to do. Set up the association, and then in this case, one-to-many relationship, uh, you're going to add a foreign key column. Okay. All right. So now we are going to go uh, the migration file. So this is the uh, customer reference orders. Yes. Yeah, so this is the migration file that we want to change. So here, basically, we are going to add a column. Add columns to order to orders table. Okay, so and uh, save the change and then we are going to perform migration. So we are going to check whether the foreign key column has been now added to the orders table. So db migrate. So I'm going to use SQLite database browser to check that out. So I'm going to open the database. And this one is uh, Reels Project Association app and DB. And this is the development SQLite 3 file. OK. So what we want to see is whether orders table now has uh, the uh, order date. Uh, looks like it didn't actually uh, add column. OK. So let me just make sure. Okay, so let me just reload it. Okay, here we go. So it contains a customer ID field, okay, because we just performed the migration, okay. All right, now we are going to add some test data through sys.rb file. So we are going to go to sys.rb file. And uh, we are going to create several customers and orders. So basically, what we are doing is that we created three customers. And uh, then we created three uh, orders. And here, we are adding the first two orders, order number 11 and order number 12, the first two orders to a customer order. So this is the notation you can use. So again, this is the automatically generated uh, the method that you can actually use. And uh, so, and then we are going to add third order, which is orders 21 to the customer number two. Okay. All right. So we just create the sys file, and then we are going to perform a rake dbcd. So this dbcd will be executed. So let me make sure that I copy. Uh, yeah, I save the file, and I will say the rake db seed. And uh, then we'll check the uh, um, tables. So this is uh, yeah, still being created. Okay, it's rather slow today. Okay, so I'm going to see orders. So you can see three orders has been created, and these three orders uh, has a custom ID foreign key field one and one and two. Okay, 
and we have 